guess we're doing this. Mm -hmm. So I guess we're doing it. <laughs> Love you. Be good or careful. Be good. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's going to suck to do this every day, but I'm going to do it as much as I can. Vlog number two, we double up. Double up! Before time. Let's get these kids to school. I don't know if I picked some of that song up or not. It'd be nice of me to let you go, wouldn't it? Sorry. Dude, very weird, dude. License plate that says Mad Dog. Stupid phone. Yeah, the big story behind that. Won't even bore you guys with it or creep you out with it. Let's just say there's a community on TikTok. A close buddy of mine's like, oh, hey, his ex-wife is into that Littles. And I'm like, Little? And I think it's what it's called. I don't know. Maybe I should blur this out. I want to take a nosedive on vlog number two. But boom, you just blew your whole channel up by talking about something you shouldn't. Jeez, I get off into tangents sometimes, don't I? But, you know, it's one of the things I really love. My, like, one of my favorite actors is Vince Vaughn. You know, that movie Breakup, where he's like, you know, he just rattles on. Anyway, it's supposedly this community of grown women and even grown men that want to be treated like a baby. Uh, so when you add that, the ponytail, the dark limo presidential tent, and the mad dog plate, it, you know, you, you get a pretty good recipe for weirdo. Oh, man. Anyway, yeah, so it is Friday, the, the Friday, the 6th, I think, of September. This is number two. I need to be better at recording the video in a way that doesn't it doesn't require a bunch of editing. The, the fact that I just stumbled through that entire sentence and I'll leave it in there and not jump cut it just to show that point. Um, I don't think people realize how hard that, and it's gonna be one of the hardest things if I'm gonna legit vlog a video every single day is the editing process. I don't think people really understand and I think it's why a lot of people who get popular or do it all the time hire editors, man. Uh, I'm kind of one that wants to do it myself. It's because I'm a control freak, number one. Number two, uh, I think my editing style was part of part of the feel of the video, man. Uh, and I don't even think people realize a lot of it. But like the video that I just uploaded last night, that vlog, within the first minute, minute and a half, you know, 90 seconds, there was probably seven cuts and maybe some text and a zoom in or two. Good Wednesday morning, partner. You got some money? Cool. Wish you would find the real $100 bill that we let you play with for a minute. <laughs> hey, we gotta hit the road, buddy. Let's fill the people in. So, it's Wednesday morning. Had a holiday week. He started. But man, yeah, it takes a lot of time, man, to really do that. I don't think people understand it. Now that you have, I know you're all saying, oh, wow. Wow. I will spend the time to edit that in there. But anyway, today I am a truck driver. Let's get at it. It always starts with the funnest part. Pre-trip. <clears throat> oh. All right, look, as you guys know, I joke around a lot, lot. Commercial driving and semi-truck driving really isn't nothing to joke about, and it's something you should really take serious, man. I just literally yesterday seen a video where a trucker was watching TikTok and killed like five people. So it's not really funny, uh, but I'll make a little bit of fun out of it just for the vlog's sake. Uh, but it's actually been a little over a year now since I obtained my commercial driving license to drive this in my truck And I'm curious how spot on I can get to some of this pre-trip stuff and you fellow truck drivers out there Let me know how you think I done Sometimes the interesting stuff that you do and just just your everyday life. All right, so we're going to perform safe start That means I'm gonna hover my hand over the key while watching the oil pressure gauge to make sure that it does rise. Just gonna make sure that that gauge right there rises, all right? And we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna keep, uh, we're gonna keep our hands on the key. All 
Obviously we got our parking brake set. Turn this blower off since the air doesn't work because I never did solder it. Wait till that intake heater light goes off. There we go. No oil pressure. There it is. All right. We'll make sure that our uh, ABS light did come on and go off, meaning it, it did a full cycle, systems check, and everything is fine. We'll make sure that we are in neutral. We'll let off the clutch. All right, this, this test is the test of the air brakes. I'm just going to idle it up a little bit to governor out there releases and make sure the governor is working properly. You should hear it. the next test I'm gonna do is this parking brake test which you know I've still got plenty of air in both tanks over 100 pounds you release the parking brake shut the truck off so that it's not making any new air and these two gauges here uh, once they both get it right around that PSI mark which I think is what like 30 PSI 25 30 it should automatically trigger this brake to come out uh, so all you do to do that is just literally like keep pushing the brake. They call it fanning the brake, I think. And it's just to cause it to lose air rapidly. Let's see if I can get the brake in the frame. So when they get to that 25 or that PSI mark, it should come out on its own. There we go. Let's roll. Let's roll. Oddly enough, one of the only Yellow Wolf songs that I kind of like. Which is funny because I'd imagine he's probably like, that's my most commercial cliche song ever. And probably doesn't like it. That's how it works though, right? The things that we think the fans are going to hate, they love the most. Let's get this thing on the road. Onward. I am going to buckle up too. Let's just start doing that, man. I got a fan. The audio is probably going to be terrible in here, I imagine. I have a couple different wireless microphones. Shout out to the fan in Texas, I believe it was, who shipped that to the P.O. box. And I've been meaning to pull that P.O. box off of my page as it's not active anymore. I couldn't afford to pay the bill, believe it or not. Uh, but anyway. Bear with me with the audio. Funny enough, today's the 6th of September, right? Yesterday was my son's birthday. He turned six years old. And uh, it's funny because, you know, at six, they're not really paying real close attention to when their birthday is from five to six or whatever, for the most part. Uh, especially with being autistic, he could care less. You know, it's just another day and we kind of, we kind of spoil them anyway and we're always giving him something so there's really no difference right um but our, our thought process was last weekend we had some family over one last hoorah to use the pool swim you know hang out because summer's pretty much over and uh we're like well why don't we just have his birthday party then you know so we have his birthday party last weekend everybody comes over we have a fantastic time we sing him happy birthday blows his candles out the whole nine right opens his presents well then she goes my wife goes to take him to school yesterday to kindergarten and we're like shoot what if the school you know obviously realizes it's his birthday they want to celebrate it not only confuse him but also the teachers and staff are probably be like does his parents even realize it's his kid's birthday like they didn't say anything didn't send him in with cupcakes cards or nothing you know which he doesn't like sweets anyway he wouldn't eat it to begin with but me and my wife were kind of like laughing together we're like what if they think that we don't know it's his birthday and you know hopefully they don't say anything to him at all because we really don't want to confuse the guy and make him think he has two birthdays but so anyway long story short she goes to pick him up from school yesterday and he comes out literally wearing a big cardboard birthday hat are you a birthday boy mm hmm 
Are you a birthday boy? That the teachers have given them. And we're, we're just, whatever, man. But you know, it's those little funny things in life, man, that you'll never forget. It's the little things, man, honestly, that me and her, I got a good laugh out of it. She sent me that video. She's like, just what are we, what are we doing? You know, he, he literally has a whole ass hat on. But anyway, man, uh, I got to get up to speed, highway speed. It's going to be way too loud, but I'll see you guys at the midway point. Like I said, pre-trip is done, but you got a midway point too. And it works out where I fuel up every time. So he's bound and down. See you guys at the midway point. Never fails. There's always somebody at the diesel pump. The only diesel pump that works. I know you guys are like, oh, well, there's another pump. It doesn't work. Ask me how I know. This poor fella's getting hit twice. Put some death in there as well. Welcome to the midway point. Man, this is this going to be some exciting content, guys. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm bringing something. I don't know if a lot of people are bringing I, I thought about this. It's inevitable. If I'm going to make a video every single day for as long as I can make it, it, it you can't avoid it. There's going to be some mundane, average, day-to-day -day stuff. But I got a goal in mind. And as soon as this guy moves and I can pull up and start filling up, I'll fill you guys in on it. But, like I said, I'm getting ready to show you some amazing content. Hang tight. Now, was that not edge of your seat content right there? I mean, the gas cap, or diesel cap, literally fell out. There's like a little chain that's supposed to keep it in there. I mean, this is edge of your seat riveting stuff. Uh, so this is the point, this is kind of things that you check. They sell little temporary, like little lockouts for those, but I just mainly check them to make sure that they're down where these latches can't unlock themselves. And just kind of go around, kick tires, check straps, that sort of thing. Uh, badass content. So let me tell you about my plan. So it's been probably a couple of weeks now. Uh, me and my wife were sitting down one night and we were talking about finances and stuff. And it's just, I don't know, it's sad because, and this is, this is all of us, right, is that's what our whole lives boil down to is the is the rat race right is to try to make enough money to live on and balance it with still being able to live um whatever and sadly i mean that's that's what we all do that's that's why they call it the rat race we're all rats just chasing a piece of cheese around here but uh we were sitting down and talking about it and we were like so what what could we actually do as far as improving quality of life and not having to work so much, I'm literally taking on side gigs for extra money uh, because of how tight money is. And we started looking at some of the things that we could trim down, slim down, or, or what could make the biggest difference, what kind of things could we pay off or whatever. And, man, it, it got me fired up. It was probably 9.30, 10 o'clock at night. We were having this conversation. It was winding down. I was tired. But this, like, it was weird. I had, like, it motivated me. It was like cracking up in a can of Red Bull, if you know what I mean. She was like, babe, here's what we could do. And in my head, I heard. That was so cheesy. We got to talking, and we realized that if we were to pay off my truck, which I only owe a little over $8,000 left on it, uh, and I think pay off her car is what we talked about. Like just really aggressively paying on something to get it paid off. How much money a month it would free up that we could do other more useful things with besides just, you know, making a car payment or whatever. And I, I got fired up and, and it was right around the time I started thinking that I wanted to do these style videos instead and just just everyday life just really show people what it is that i do day to day and some of it's fun some of it's mundane but i got a really cool plan for the van which will be part of this and and uh i could show you guys every step of the way there but we got to talking about it and i thought you know what 
let's do two birds here. Let's let's set a goal and see what happens. Worst worst thing can happen is I don't achieve the goal. But I want to pay off that truck in the next 12 months. I already have a channel that's monetized. I already have a good group of people watching. I know there's a few scragglers in there, but the majority of you guys are just really good people and just really enjoy watching a guy do what a guy does. You know, uh, a lot of you guys seem to like my sense of humor, seem to like my little corny jokes here and there. And I thought, so why don't I do this? Uh, challenge myself. It's going to be tough, man, to literally record a video each and every day and edit it and slap it up. That's why I said earlier. I need to be better about how <laughs> how much dead air I put in these so I don't have to do as much editing. But literally not, you know, no cussing, no crazy stuff, no, no music or whatever. Monetize them and see if in the next 12 months, if I can look back on this day, September 6, 2025, and have paid off my truck and have a better quality of life and be, you know, whatever. Or maybe do it sooner. I don't know. But I got a lot of trips and stuff plan you know in the near future i got some vacation time that i haven't used yet um and like i said i got a really cool plan with the van so this could turn into something really fun I, but it's definitely like i say i'm challenging myself this is going to be really tough to do but we'll see what happens man i did double up on red bulls today and i know there's gonna be some people like don't do that that's not a good idea and you're right actually i may be switching up what style energy drink that i i choose to consume if you know, you know. How about, this? How about you guys let me know in the comments what you think about my my plan or my goal. And be honest with me. I'm a big boy. I can take it. Just now getting out of here, 12.39. I really, really needed to be going before now. Haven't even ate lunch yet. Let's hit the road, woo! Load it down.
I really need to get the AC fixed in this. Woo! And the day goes on. You ever get a piece of a song stuck in your head and there's no way to search for it on YouTube? It's a beginning of an Ice Cube song. Please somebody help me in the comments because when I was taking my teenage boy to school this morning, I was trying to get, I was trying to find it and it was, it was a good laugh. But it's, it's the beginning of an Ice Cube song and it starts out, it's like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, and it's got that little West Coast. And I literally typed in like, how do you spell? I just, <laughs> I hit the, the, the talk to text and I'm like, ding. <laughs> Jesus. On to the next one. These chicks don't even know the name of my band. But they're all on me like they want to hold me. So there was a local roofing company. Uh, their name was Advanced Roofing Solutions. And they had, sign, I mean, their sign game, advertisement game, was top notch. Uh, you would see their sign on every telephone pole everywhere. And, uh... Me and my buddy was joking. I don't even know why it's, it's, it's stuff like this that sticks in your head for no reason. But he was like, I'm gonna get a bunch of signs printed up that say more advanced roofing solutions and just put it on top of there. So it's like more advanced roofing solutions and advanced roofing solutions. And it was way funnier before I said it out loud. Oh yeah. This time of day when I start losing my getting mind, my body needs some ketones. Oh, you know, my backup sensor did not pick up that door. Definitely life goals. This thing is beautiful. Big boy. Hello. Oh. Uh, I try not to let him out. I'm sorry. Well, he came back in. Hey, hey, hey. You guys call a plumber? <laughs> Can you imagine owning a piece of property like this? Jeez. So, this is the side gig, the plumbing gig. And I'm convinced if you ain't working two jobs and still miserably broke, you ain't living, baby. It's the American dream. Take a pipe to the face. Uh. <laughs> Certainly confined spaces. I'm trying to use these crimpers in a real tight spot like that is just BS, man. But should have water to the outside spigot now so they could fill their pole, baby. And just like that, the hose works. And they can fill up the swimming pool. Or, like they said, their pool guy can. I want a pool guy. Look at that. Woo! Another one bites the dust. All right, 448. We are almost done with the official work day. Almost. All right. One more stop, grocery store, grab a few things for dinner, throw on the new grill. Yeah, I bought a new grill, by the way. Uh, oddly enough, just ran into somebody at the gas station and says he watches my videos, which is super cool, dude. Sorry, I was really awkward, probably fumbled a little bit, and I'm like, oh, I'm working on one right now. It'll, it'll be live tonight. Uh, what a tool. I need to just be like, hey, nice to meet you. Thank you for your support. Uh, you know who you are if you want to shout yourself out in the comment section, man. I appreciate it. Let's get something to put on the grill. I don't know if you guys have a Kroger or ever tried these. It's Shred and Sons. The very best burger. And I can I can agree to that. Um, and I finally found out today I was this year's old when I realized beer broths. Because I was like, I never could find them. They're in the beer section. Duh. Learn something new every day.
All right. We are home. What time is it? Time check. It is 5.50. These new watches are pretty cool. That's my little boy right there. My little bubba. My little bubba. Matter of fact, I'm going to go in and see him real quick. That's what you got to do as soon as you get home. Uh, and edit this video. Don't, don't roll your eyes, James. You asked for this. You want to pay that truck off or not? I'm going to knock on my own door. Beautiful. Or I could just put these groceries down and go get my key, but I like making her get up once in a while. Sorry, did I bother you? Mm -hmm. Were you on the couch? Mm -hmm. Daddy's home! Bubba, come here! Uh-oh. Can I have a hug? Come here! Bitty hoppity guy. 